Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? Uh, today is a very special Facebook Live here at um, my card making and stampin' up Facebook page. I am so excited that you have been able to join in today. Today is my 50th Facebook Live Stampin' Up! tutorial and I am super excited. Who would have thought? 50, right? That's that's a big milestone. And I thought to celebrate 50 Facebook Lives, I would put you guys in charge today. Today is a card making choose your own adventure show. I'm putting you, my Facebook audience, in the hot seat today. You are designing our card today. Can you believe? You know, the control freak in me is freaking out. So I'm handing it over to my lovelies. You are making the card today, so I need your help. So come on in, say hello as you're coming in. I'm really excited to see so many beautiful Stampin' Up! friends coming in, and it's going to be a fun day. Who am I? If you are joining me for the first time, my name is Carolyn Benny and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. My passion is helping people find their perfect Stampin' Up! products and goodies and helping them with fabulous customer service with my online shop, which you can find at carolynbenny.com. Now, Stampin' Up!'s my passion. I love it. I've been loving it for nine years now and I really love doing these Facebook live shows every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, where I hope to inspire you with card making tips and hints and tutorials and all the new and latest in Stampin' Up! right? But today I'm taking the hands off the reins and I've got you guys in the hot seat. You are helping me make the cards today. So it is time to get interactive. It's Facebook Live, right? This is where you get to say what you want and what you like. And you know, you guys help me out sometimes with my tutorials. You do, because sometimes I stuff up and I need your help. <laughs> but today you are totally in charge. Are you ready to be totally in charge? I hope so. So. What we've got going on today is a little bit different as well. I've got some giveaways, I've got some uh, a little announcements, and I've got some stuff happening, okay? So it's going to be fun. The first thing that you guys probably want to know is um, the, uh, what did I call it, the caption contest. I've had a caption contest running for the last 24 hours on here on my Facebook business page, which is um, which is my poor husband. My poor husband. He's he's really good. He's he's good value, and he's let me use a photo of him. Um, he was actually attacking that uh, that I don't know what you call it. There's a little cupboardy thing I have back there and I, you know, the cords were down the back and it wasn't working out and he came in and saved the day, right? But I took a photo of him when he was in a very compromising position because that's the funny, you know, that's what I do. I like to be cheeky. But, um, and so I've done a caption contest and you guys wrote some fabulous, funny, I laughed out loud a lot. Um, but I had to choose just one winner. Right, so if you want to know if you won the caption contest, you better stick around because I'm teasing you a little bit, okay? I'm teasing you. So, okay, don't let me forget though because <laughs> we want to know who wins, right? If you've entered, I hope that... Um, I hope that you're standing by and listening because I have something really exciting to show you. Can you tell how excited I am about today? Excited. I've got goodie bags, okay? Lots, I've got three goodie bags. These are chock-a-blocker with Stampin' Up! goodies that I've never used. I'm a hoarder, what can I say? I have got stamp sets. I've got a stamp set at least in each goodie bag. I've got 
some embossing foil. I've got an embossing foil. What else have I got? I've got. Oh, I've got some kits. I'm throwing stuff around. I've got ribbons in there. I'm, like I've got stuff. This stuff. It's a mystery goodie bag, and I've got three. I can show you. I've got three. They're already in satchels. They're ready to go. Okay. So one of these goodie bags is going out to the winner of our lovely caption contest. And as I said, we had some fabulous, funny captions. Um, and we did have some lovely entries from out of Australia, but this it has to just be in Australia, um, unfortunately. And, but I've loved reading all the captions from all over the world. So thank you for doing that. Um, so we have got one of these are going to go out to the winner of the caption contest. So make sure you remind me if I forget. The other thing that um, I've got two more goodie bags and they're going to go out to two other people as well. So I'll show you more about that in shortly as well. But here's what I need you to do, okay? I have got all of these designer series paper packs, lots of them. I need you to share this video, guys. Let's share it live because it's gonna be fun to help me make this card today. And I wanna get lots of people in watching live so I can have lots and lots of help, right? So I want you to share this video right now. If you don't know how to do that, check it out. It should be somewhere there that it's it's down, down on the bottom maybe, somewhere where it says share. Share the video now while I'm live. You can share it later too, that's cool. We like replay sharers, but if you share it now when you're live and then you send me a message saying, shared, Jules just done it now, and then if everyone that um, shares it live, I'll be sending you one of these. All right? It's simple. You have to be in Australia. I'm sorry. I can only send locally to Australia. Can I? Hmm. No. I'm going to do it for everyone that shares. I'm going to send internationally. I don't care. I'm going to do it. Um, but um, when I message you, I'll message you later today. Check your messages later today because um, I'm going to ask for your address. So if you don't check your messages and you don't give me your address, you can't get the little thingy, okay? So I'm really excited. Let's get playing. Hey, let's make some cards. Let's make, actually, let's just make one card. That might be as much as I can do. How is this Choose Your Own Adventure card making going to work? I asked myself that a few times as well. Let's see how it goes, okay? Let's see. So what I'm going to get you guys to do is I've got some options. I've got three stamp sets that we can use. I've got some framelits that we can use. I've got some different sorts of card sizes and things that we can use. Um, and I'm going to ask you guys to help me with that, right, in a couple of different ways. So you um, have to stand by. Okay, you have to get those coffees into you. You have to have your sharing, talking, um, and chatting um, abilities happening. Okay, all right. Let me flip you over. I think I might have had too much coffee today already. <laughs> Denise is like, energizer buddy, Carol. I think I'm just too excited. 50 Facebook lives. Anyway, I'm going to flip you guys over. Who thunk it, right? You know, I'm looking at which side the little thing is on. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys. Hey, Phyllis, I can see you. Phyllis was here early, but she was so lovely. She stuck around. Like, have you started already, Carolyn? Because it's, you know, oh, I don't want to give you my, my notes. I don't normally do notes. I don't normally do notes. I'm, I'm, I usually roll with the punches, but today... I thought I'd be, I've got so much stuff that I need to share. I thought I better, um, better be good. Okay. Buds, it's all happening, sports fans, and I'm just gonna get you guys up on my laptop in front, right? Because I need you. Oh, yeah. I need to see what you're saying. Otherwise, this choose your own adventure business is not gonna work at all. Okay, so I'm sorry I haven't really responded to any of the comments. I definitely will. 
I definitely will later. You can see my my pants. That's not good. I've got look. I'm like my mum will tell me off because I've got rips in my in my jeans. Mum, are you watching? I don't know. Sometimes she watches. Sometimes she's out having coffee with her friends. Okay. All right, let's get cracking. I'm ready. Now, everyone's saying good morning and sharing. You guys are just awesome. So awesome. Now, I've got a little chicken homesick with me today. Would you believe it? This is what happens when you, when you work from home. Life happens, but I like that, that I can be home for my chicken. And um, you love the pants, they're right in style. <laughs> yes, well. Okay, so here is the first thing I'm going to get you guys to do. Hey, Terry, how you going? We are going to pick the stamp set that we're using today. Now, I've got three different options. And in the comments, what I'm going to do is ask you to write which one you like. It's going to be simple, though. We're going to have this one here, which is a new stamp set. Have I got... Oh, hell of spells. Let me just flip you guys over. Because... There we go. Okay, so this is the stamp set Rooted in Nature, which is from the upcoming new catalogue. You've got to see it, don't you? So this is the stamp set, right? That is option A, if you want me to play with that one. Now, I'm not going to be able to count up all of your responses, but I'll kind of get the feel. This is Enjoy Life, which is another new one out of the new catalogue. And that is option B. I got that one because my husband likes bike riding. So that is option B. He's a cyclist. He's a middle-aged man on Lycra. We like that. He's staying fit. And then we've got option C, which is from the current occasions catalogue. It's birds. You know, I love birds. So I got the B. So you've got to vote. Now is the time to vote. A, B or C. Which one should we make today? You guys are in charge you're in charge I've got to you're the bosses today I've got to do what I'm told <sighs> well, yeah, I can see some B's I can see some A's I can see no one likes C everyone's either A or B gosh I'm gonna have to one two three four five six seven gosh oh one person said C how oh, big thank you Janelle B, B. What do you think, guys? What's winning? A or B? Oh, goodness me. I don't know. You guys are really split between A and B. All right, I've got to do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, A and B. Oh, Fran, you can't sit on the fence. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, it's 50-50 at the moment. The next person, after Amanda, Amanda's written B, the next person will be the one that we go with. C, Helen. No one else wants C. I have to, and <laughs> Jill's written A and B. Okay, Fran has said A. You guys are really making it hard. Now, the next person, A or B, has to be A or B because I think that is the next person. Now, waiting, waiting, waiting. You've never gone quiet. Who's going to make the deciding vote? A or B? A or B? A or B? Well, don't, I have, don't make me decide. I think it's going to have to be A because I think you guys want to see A. A, Sharon, thank you. Okay, let's do A. So this is the stamp set rooted in Nate here in Australia and that title may mean something quite different to you than it does in America or in the UK. But anyways, so we're going to use this stamp set today. What shall we do next? I've done a little bit of preparation because, you know, I've got to do a little bit of preparation. So I've got some beautiful watercolour paper and I've stuck it to a board okay because that's how I roll 
And I thought I would challenge myself to use, um, hey, I've got so much from Canada. Hey, how you going? I've got, I'm going to challenge myself to use these new ink colours because they're delightful and delicious. And we're going to make whatever we're going to do today has to work with these colours, right? So what um, I thought, let's have a look. Um, you know what really appeals to me? out of these stamps these stamps and i know you guys you know how i talked about um tempting was it something of a tree what is that stamp set oh my goodness mm, you guys will remind me some tree stamp <laughs> tempting tree oh anyways you know i can't i haven't used that one yet well tall tree lovely as a tree thanks sharon you know i'm not very good with that i'm gonna go with the leaves i'm gonna go with the leaves i'm gonna do it Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm going to put some on. And I've moved a few things around in my stamping room. So now my um, my blocks are closer to me. Because I am such so lazy that if I do not have things close to me, I don't like to use them. Is anyone else like that too? A little bit lazy. Okay. All right. I've got my leaves on. Yes, the leaves. Mel says, yes, the leaves. I've got some archival black ink because I'm going to do some watercolouring. I thought I would do watercolouring because I love it. So let me see. I think, it, I think we need to keep it simple. Simple? Otherwise, you guys are going to lead me astray. I just can feel that. Let's keep it simple. So this is archival black ink. Now, Oh, look at that leaf. I'm going to bring you guys in so you can see closer. Closer. Coming closer. Can I come? Close for, oh, now I've turned you over. There we go. Sometimes Facebook does crazy things. So what you guys um, probably are aware of by now if you love Stampin' Up! like I do. This is uh, our last month on our current annual catalogue. So if there's a, lots of things that are retiring and we have um, over on my online shop um, that you can see via carolynbetty.com um, you will be able to see all the retiring things. There are some discounted things over there too. And we've got also a clearance rack. So make sure you check them all out. Now, why will you want to check them all out? And why do you want to go and buy stuff from me, especially this weekend? Because I have two goodie bags to give away. Remember those goodie bags that I showed you before? With all of the juicy stuff inside. It's a mystery what's in here, but we know there's a stamp set and we know that there is some bits and pieces, yeah. I've, I've chocked full. They're, they're going to be completely, you know, full. I can send 500 grams and I'm going to try and get as much in it as possible. Um, so I, for the people that order today, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you're going to go into a drawer to win one of those two goodie bags. It's going to be random. I'm going to come on here on f next Monday and randomly draw two winners. So how do you get involved? How do you get over that? Well, I'm going to tell you. So you just need to place an order with me via my online shop at carolynbenny.com this weekend between today and Sunday and you're in the draw. That's it. You are in the draw. Okay, so there I've got these leaves. I hope that's going to be big enough. I think it will be. Just dry that off a little bit. Okay, so you guys have picked the stamp set Rooted in Nature. We've gone with the leaves. I'm going to challenge myself to these colours. We have got pineapple punch, blueberry bushel, call me clover, grapefruit grove and lovely lipstick. Pick three colours guys. You can just say B, you can just use B, P, C 
I don't know. Just say green, blue, yellow, pink, and tell me which colours that you like. Because I'll get the general feel, and then we're going to watercolour. I want a watercolour, so tell me what you want to do. I can see all of your brains thinking. I want a couple of colours on these leaves. I just don't want one. So give me, throw me a few colours to use. And I will do that for you. Green, yellow, blue. We've got Sharon said green, level blue. Pink, yellow, green. Shannon said green. Katrina, green, blue, red. Green, blue, red. I like him. Green, blue, red. Who was that? Pink, yellow, blue, green, green. These ones? What do you think? Should we do that? I think we'll do that. Okay, let's play with that. Now, I know that you can do like a little well inside uh, your blocks, uh, your new ink pads. I know you can do that. But I actually like um, just to put a little bit of ink on a block, like so. And then I'm going to add some. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Add some water with my Aqua Painter and I'm actually, you know what I should have done? I should have done this first. So I'm just adding plain water. Am I? Is there any water in that one? There we go. There we are. Where are with this? Yes, yes, yes. Everybody said yes. Good. I'm sorry if I didn't go with your response. I'll try better next time. I promise. So I'm just going to add some water to the leaves. This is just plain water. And I find that if you do this, the colour kind of sticks mostly where you've put the water down. And you also get this great effect that you can kind of just add dobs of water like so and spread it out. And it's kind of like a really natural feel. Let's do that with the next one. I better hurry because, you know, you guys have got life to happen as well, don't you? So I'm not going to put the water down on that one because this one, this aqua paint is so full of water. I should be able to make it work. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. We've got stuff to do. Now, remember, if you are sharing this um, live Choose Your Own Adventure Facebook tutorial, uh, I am going to send you a cute little DSP pack uh, in the mail. So you will need to tell me what your address is and you'll need to tell me that you have shared in the comments because otherwise sometimes with everyone's got their privacy stuff up full bore these days on Facebook, which I'm all happy and agreeing with, but I can't see who shared. So it's a bit of an honesty system which I'm happy. I think you guys are all pretty honest. All right, let's see. Now, I've got lots of blue happening there. I think I like that. Now, let's do this. This is lovely lipstick. And let's get a little bit of lovely lipstick going. I'm going to use that. What other colour did I agree to? Green, that's right. So what colour, this is going to turn this blue, what colour guys? You go back to your school colours. What's it going to, what's going to happen? Alright. Trying to move fast. Am I going too fast? So tell me where you're watching from. I've had someone come in from Canada. And I've seen you guys, I've, I think I've got some WA gals on. Where are you watching from? Okay, I'm going to move that blue. Now, F, oh, is that Florida, Terry? West Sydney? Hey, Julie. Pretty purple? Yeah, it's going to make a pretty purple, I think. You don't always have to do, like, the colours... As they are in nature, do you? I think that's the fun of it. I'm mixing those colours a little bit. Get some more blue going on. Oh, I just want to give myself a little... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get... Oh, honestly, I've got to buy some tissues for my stamping room because I'm always forgetting the tissues. 
or the the Central Coast Sydney. Hey Lorraine, how you doing? Bel Air. Oh, Bel Air. You're not far away, are you? Hey Helen, how you going? What's happening today? All right, now let's see. This is Call Me Clover. Gosh, I love our blocks. Now I am worried that this, yeah, don't, don't do that. Let's go in from the blue side because if I add it to the purple side, it's going to get all muddy and brown. We don't want to do that. That's a little bit of colour coordination there. So I'm going to add this to the blue because that'll be pretty. Whereas if I do it on the other side, it's not going to be pretty. All right. Like so. A little bit in there. What are you thinking, guys? Does it look like a mess? <laughs> It's going to give me brown. I know. I know. That was silly, wasn't it? Well, you know, it might be good to have brown. But I don't think so. I think we want, we don't want brown. I don't think this is, it's not that kind of leaf, is it? Where we want brown. All right. I think I filled it in mostly. It's time to get, that was a bit brown in there. Time to get the heat gun going. I've got lots of water on these leaves. Lots and lots of water. So we need the heat gun. Now you can see my blocks are a mess, but if you just use a wet wipe, they clean right up. Okay, and I'll probably give them a good clean later. Sharon's thinking about the brown. All right, let's heat gun it. And this is why I put it on the board. Now, some of these have got a bit too much water on them. And this is the fun thing with watercolour, is you can actually dab it with a tissue and it doesn't wreck it. Okay. Let's see. Do you think that's pretty? I think it's, I think it's too bad. Just a little bit of watercolour paper. All right, I'm going to pop that to one side just for a second because it's time for you guys to vote. Again, I need your assistance. So let's see what you need to do next. So if you have a little sticky beak at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see some funny emoji faces, right? So you're going to see there's like a little thumbs up. There's a heart shape. There's a, um, a laughing face. There's a surprise wow face, like a oh, wow, big fat, big mouth face. There's a tears and there's an angry. I don't want you to use the tears or angry because we're stamping and it's meant to be fun. But we need to cut out our leaves. So I've got these framelits here. I've got a pack of my circles. If you like the circles, I want you to use your little hearts down the bottom of the screen. So tap on the heart emoji give hearts if you want me to use the square framelits to cut out our leaves I want you to use the wow face okay so can you see down the bottom of your screen those emojis you just need to keep tapping on them you can't just do it once you need to tap 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 and I will see which um, which group wins I can see some hearts, I can see some wows, wows, hearts, oh there's lots of wows, so far people are going well, now's the time to tell me, uh, well, lots of wows, lots of hearts, let me see, who's going to win, keep going, tell me, everybody has to vote, I think, this, I think the hearts are winning at the moment. If you haven't voted, now is your chance. 
Oh, someone just kind of like had like a face smash in the middle of it. Wow, wow, wow. Goodness me. I think the wows might have come back. The hearts have stayed consistent, but the wows have kind of made a bit of a comeback. <laughs> you guys are just messing me with me now. Are you going like heart wow, heart wow, heart wow, just to really trick me? I think you might be. Um, yeah, let's see. All right, guys, I'm going to call it. I didn't think this would happen. But uh, I think the wows have won. No, oh, now the hearts are coming. No, I need to call it. I need to call it. We're going to go. I think we're going to go the wows. I saw a laughing face in there. You guys, you're cheeky. All right, we're going to go the squares. The wows have won. I think you've just always wanted to say wow, right? Wows. Wow. <sighs> You guys are awesome. Okay, so let's have a little sticky bit. You know, I put my, um, the framelits like these, these nesting ones. Look how inky I'm getting already. Um, I put these nesting ones on these little rings. You can get these from, well, I got mine from Officeworks. I don't know if they still sell them here in Australia, but that's where I get them from. Just because I like to use, um, I like to use different sizes. Um, and I don't like to have to open them up each time. So let's have a little bow peep. I've got, this is the second to largest one. So I think that's going to work quite nicely. I love that. Thank you for all participating and voting on which one you wanted to do. I think that's, do you think I should go with that one or maybe the smaller one? Thoughts. I think maybe the slightly smaller one. We're going to go for that one. Okay, so I need to pop this aside and we're going to take this off. I've just used my painter's tape because um, it doesn't wreck the paper like just regular tape. And get that down at your local hardware store. Okay. Oh, Mel said the largest one, the largest one. I'm going with this one, Mel. I can't help it. Have you had, you guys are drinking coffee? I had like the tiniest bit of milk left, so I, my coffee is super strong. Maybe that's why I'm so wired today. Here's Bertha. It could not be a crazy celebration stamping experience without Bertha surely we wouldn't leave Bertha out uh, let's have a looky let's see seems a shame to cut some bits out doesn't it but you never know I could use it in something else you're drinking tea Vicky you love the colorful leaves Lou oh Mel said that's okay it's okay that I didn't go with her request you get more things to vote for in a minute. Hey, Bertha, I love how oh, look. <laughs> 50th Bertha. Oh, it is. Bertha's had like, I don't, I don't know how many Bertha's missed, to be honest. she's She's been pretty much our consistent. That's quite a name for a big shot. Got to name your big shot, Sharon. You've got to name your big shot. Um... Okay, I love her. How can you love something and not name them? That's what I want to know. This can't be big shot. All right, so here we go. We've got our little square cut out um, from our leaves from the Rooted in Nature stamp set. What else should we do? Now, I think we need to decide what kind of shape card we're having. I think that might be our next thing. So I've got, it's time to get your voting fingers out again. I've got a piece of my um, thick white cardstock. All right. I'll take you guys out so you can see what you're doing. Um, I've got thick white cardstock, which I love. Now we can either cut it this way and make what I call a hamburger card. So that's if you cut it down the middle 
and then you score it and you fold it and it kind of ends up looking like that. We call that like a hamburger card. Um, I think someone, I think maybe someone said that at, um, at convention once, Stampin' Up! convention once. I think it was Shannon, maybe? She calls it hamburger card. Or maybe it was um, Brandy. Anyways, or if we cut it long ways, it's a hot dog card. So, which way are we going to have our card today? Are we going to have it long and thin with the fold up the top? Like a hot dog or we're going to have it the fold on the side and it being more of a squat card the hamburger you need to vote you need to write hot dog or hamburger in the comments you can vote now hot dog or hamburger tell me which one you guys want to see hamburger sherry's hot dog said Kirsty. hamburger two hamburgers one hot dog one it's even at the moment hot diggity dog says jenny hot dog Sherry. gosh you guys are all going out strong i'm feeling like hot dogs winning let's see hamburger <laughs> hot <dog. laughs> This is ridiculous. If someone comes in now and they're going to see you guys, like, say, hot dog and hamburger, they're going to think that we've all lost the plot. <laughs> I think you guys are saying hot dog. I think you want hot dog. All right, let's do hot dog. You guys are funny. All right, I'm going to cut it. The weird, I just saw the weirdest Facebook Live ever. There was all these people on there and they were shouting hot dog and hamburger. <laughs> I didn't think about how that would be when I planned that out. Now you want a hot dog? Tee you guys are funny. All right, so that, I've just cut that straight down the middle. It's 10.5 centimetres. I'm going to score that for a center fold and that is going to be at about 14.8 14.9 is it not too early for a hot dog do you think is there a time frame that is good for you want a chili dog mm, Lou wants a chili dog we all want a chili dog now you've mentioned that okay I'm gonna get my bone folder out we don't really have chili dogs so much here in Australia but I have had them before in the States and they're delish okay so it's hot dogs all year long here in Canada <laughs> what about like breakfast lunch and dinner is that is that is that right breakfast lunch and dinner okay so we've got our top folding hot dog card here and now we need to kind of think about what we're going to do with those so here is the leaves that we made and I've got my inky fingers and we used, what do we use? We used the clover. You guys want the clover. You wanted the blue. And I'm dreadful with the names of these jobbies already. Um, blueberry bushel. And what else did we have? We had the lovely lipstick. There's some pretty colours that you guys picked. Uh, okay. Alrighty. So, now, do you think, I think we should have some stripes on this card just to get a little bit of something happening and I'm thinking we could either do some stripes going long ways so I'm always not very good at that it's um, vertical we could do vertical stripes or we could do some horizontal stripes it needs the blue doesn't it I am going to use all of these colors I think because they're all the colors that match so I want you guys to vote now we're gonna use the love hearts and the wow face again so if you want the so if you want long stripes if you want them going the stripes going that way do love hearts if you want the stripes going this way do wow face okay now's your opportunity long ways or that long ways or that way which ways hearts what's long 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 everyone's saying long oh, everyone's you guys are on the same page someone said that way you guys are on the same page it's pretty cool all right it's clear you guys want um the long ways stripes so let's do that i've got i'm gonna cut them diagonal 
Jewel. You are cheeky. And I like it. I think I'm going to do one and a half centimetres. Let's try that. One and a half centimetres. Like so. How do you guys like being in charge? Do you like it? Do you like being interactive? Get, tell me if you like being in charge of Choose Your Own Adventure. Or you, do you prefer it when I just do the work for you? Hey, okay. You can be honest. Okay. So here we've got that way. Which way did I do it? I did green, blue. I think I did green, blue, pink, didn't I? Green, blue. That's kind of how we did it on the leaves. So that's... You like, you like being in charge, Sandy? <laughs> you both. <laughs> Lorraine's being very diplomatic. Both. I like both. And then we're going to put these on like so. Do you think there? I think that might work. And then... Mm, you know what I think that we're going to need to do? I'm going to put that over there. Do you think, I think maybe that way? I think maybe it has to be this way. I think that could work. But it needs a mat of white underneath. I feel like it does. Alright, let's get this working first. I've got my beautiful Tombow Multi-Purpose Adhesive Glue. Now remember, if you are an Australian... Um, lover of stamping up and I am your demonstrator of choice this weekend I have got a fabulous deal going for you I have got two amazing goodie bags these goodie bags are full of product I haven't added up how much is in there but I've got a stamp set in there alone let alone ribbon I've got embossing fold I've, or all sorts of things it's actually a mixed bag so it could be different each bag is going to be a little bit different but there is quite a ton of value in each one of these bags and I'm going to be giving two of these bags away for free all you need to do is place an order at my online shop carolynbenny.com this weekend so you've got today tomorrow and Sunday to get involved and um, randomly on Monday I'm going to pick a winner and I'm going to come back here on live I can match the leaves with the blue I could do that um, and I'm going to come back here on Monday and I'm going to do it live so you guys can see. Matt it with the blue. Mel says matt it with the blue. Uh, let me see. Let's see how that looks. Do you like matt it with the blue or should I matt it with the white? Guys, I love it that you take in charge. Right, let's, so that's with the blue. And that's, actually, I think that's with very vanilla. But you can kind of get the point. What do you think? Blue or white? Quick show of hands. Quick vote. Tell me in the comments. Thinner strips. Hmm, too late now, Jill. Uh, blue. So Hazel said blue. Glenda said blue. Matt with blue. Blue's winning. I do what you tell me to. <laughs> Don't get used to it, people. Don't get used to the getting the own way with everything. Matt with a black? Who's come out randomly? Jenny. <laughs> I'm matting with the blue. So let's see what's happening. What's happening? Okay, so we remind me, people, we've still got to pick. Well, I actually already have picked. I've been cheeky. I've looked ahead. I've read all the comments on the... Um, can you guys even see what I'm doing? Would it be better if I showed you and not just kind of did my own thing totally? Um, we've got the winner of the caption contest. So I'm going to be announcing that very soon. I did laugh out loud when I um, read this caption. And I got my hubby to read them last night as well. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. What What do you think? Do you think... Do you think square or on the angle? 
kind of think it has to be square because I've kind of I could do angle like that what do you think those captions were hilarious <laughs> they were really funny uh, do you think angle or square angle square angle I'll show you the square again square Diagonal, diagonal, square. Oh, you guys, tell me, tell me, angle, square. Glenda has written, oh, hi, cat, she's shouting it. I love it. Angle. Now, you're just taking it in turns now, so that's not fair. Angle, angle, square. Oh, okay. Jill, you are messing with me today. I can tell. You got wake up on the cheeky side of the bed. You funny girl. All right. So let's have a little sticky bag. I think. Uh, look. Oh, I don't know. I want to please you guys. But you're all, it's like, it's pretty much down the middle. Square, 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 angle, angle, angle. Eek! Next person. Next person's going to pick up. Okay, Sharon, you're just bringing in random stuff now. I I can't. Do you like that? Square. All right, going to one. Square. That's it. I can't do it anymore. You guys are just... You playing games with me? Hazel said square. Oh, now you're all saying square. <sighs> you guys, tricky monkeys, tricky, tricky. All right, let's have a look. I'm doing it square. I'm going in. I think we need to um, go into the green bit a little bit to really bring out that. I put dimensionals on it. Just to give a little bit. What's your thoughts? I think that's quite good. I don't even know how long we've been doing this for. I should probably check how long I've been on for because, you know. All right, and let's just see. I've got um, Love What You Do stamp set here. Gosh, my desk has turned into a full blown mess. Um, I've got the Love What You Do stamp set here, which is currently on, um, you get some bundles, three different bundles. In fact, uh, you can look at them on my blog, carolynbenny.com. And um, you can get uh, this stamp set as a part of a bundle with some freebies added for this month only. Next month, you'll be able to get it in the catalog. I'm thinking that we do Love What You Do. Do you, do you guys like Love What You Do? Give me a thumbs up if you like the Love What You Do sentiment. I think that might be the way to go. 47 minutes. All right, that's not too bad. I've done worse, Mel. You like the Love What You Do? I love what I do. I do. I'm very lucky. You guys could be lucky too. You don't, this, you know, the good thing about um, being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is you don't need to go for any job interviews. You just join my team and then you get loved straight away. <laughs> beautiful day, Stamp said. Oh, Shannon's gone beautiful day. That one is lovely too. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Um, you like the Rooted in Nature font? I oh, know, but I don't think I've got enough room on the card. Um, I think we have to go this way. What do you think? Beautiful day, Stan. All right, Shannon, you've won me over. Because you guys are in charge and I hadn't thought about using that one. I think we need to go the blue. What's your thoughts? Which I must learn the name of. Blueberry bushel. We need to do the blue. Okay. Eek. Now if you have not shared this stamp, uh, this uh, live tutorial yet, 
you want to do that because it's almost done and um, if you share it here in the live tutorial then you are going to get a beautiful little DSP pack posted to you oh my goodness this is where I could completely stuff it up but I think I think we're gonna do it I could get my stamparatus out but let's do it it's a beautiful day Glenda shared it thank you Glenda I'm just holding it there letting the ink transfer for a little minute it's a beautiful day it is a beautiful day any day where I can be with you lovelies is a beautiful day now remember to go check later on once I get off my Facebook live and I've checked on my little sick chicken downstairs I am going to contact all the people that have shared during the live telecast and I'm going to um, ask you for your postal addresses so I can send you the DSP if you do not check um, oh, I don't know what that's if you do not check your messages and give me your face your postal address you won't be able to get the goodie bag so please do that I will um, send those out early next week so then you need to check your mailboxes for those here I think this is it I think we're done what do you think this is your card people this is the collective lovelies who have made this card today it's it's been a total choose your own adventure thank you guys for participating in it I think it's pretty cute I'm not sure if it needs a piece of twine on it but it is it's pretty cute I think we've done well pack yourselves on the back um, you guys have been rock stars with this now I want to announce the winner of the caption contest so I'm gonna flip the camera around so I can do that see how I go see how I go there you are Yay, we made it 50 Facebook lives next time it'll be 51 <laughs> um, so the winner of the caption contest on my blog which is going to be getting one of these amazing goodie bags remember two more goodie bags they're right ready this is not a drill they are right ready um, for two of my customers who order online this weekend today tomorrow or Sunday you place an order you go on the drawer to get these goodie bags they had chock-a-block I've not skimped I've just been ruthless so if I haven't used it it's gone in the bag yeah so place your orders this weekend and you'll go in the drawer for the goodie bag and I'll announce it on Monday with a quick Facebook live so the winner drum roll please for the winner is Cyan Goya, saying Goya. She her, her post made me laugh. It was funny. I laughed out loud. It was something about Chris getting stuck. This is I'm stuck and I'm in trouble. Help me out. <laughs> it's funny. Made me laugh. So if uh, Cyan, if you're watching or if you know Cyan, tell her that she's won, and I will contact her and um, please um, give me your postal address because otherwise I could send you the goodie back. So it was it was funny. Thank you for participating in that fun contest. So I think I've got all the things. So the goodie bags, I've talked about those. I've won the con co caption contest. I've got people have shared and I'm going to have to do a lot of posting. Australia Post is going to love me again. And remember, for all of your stamping up needs here in Australia, I can um, help you all over Australia. So I've got um, beautiful lovelies, Queensland to WA to Tasmania. So I am your stamping up demonstrator. I'm here to help you with your purchases, your questions, your after sale experience. Thank you so much for supporting me over these 50 Facebook Lives. It's been an absolute joy getting to know you all. Uh, it's just a delight. I love Fridays. They are the best. And uh, I hope that I can squeeze out another 50 more. 
<laughs> so have a fabulous week. Um, I'm actually going to have to have next Friday off. Can you believe it? <laughs> After getting to 50, I've got to have a Friday off. Uh, it's my father-in-law's 50th, uh, 80th birthday, so we have to travel. But you never know. I might pop on and say hello. I can't stay away from you guys. But um, I will definitely be back the week after. And excitingly, I have a new um, Facebook Live series starting that week. We Should I tell you a sneak peek? Should I give you a hint what it's going to be on? Maybe? Tell me. Do you want a sneak peek? Do you want to know? what the next series is going to be. We had blend series a few weeks ago. Do you want to know what the sneak peek is? You guys are going to guess this for sure. But I'm doing a um, series on our new ink pad colours. Yay! We're going to play with new ink colours. It's going to be awesome. So you're going to want to make sure you lock in Fridays at 10 a.m. Australian Central Standard Time and join me for the new colour series that I'll be doing um, for a good while. Okay, my beautiful people, thank you so much for joining me and all your likes and shares and participation. It's been actually super fun. And I hope you enjoy, I hope you like the card that we made. I'll blog it and talk about it later today. So head over to my blog, carolynbenny.com for all the information on the supplies I've used today. All right, beautiful people, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you again two weeks. See you soon.